Hi. Hi. Welcome to Westerbeck Ranch in Sonoma, yeah, California. It's in the change room in Sonoma. We've yeah. taken our show on the road. And we have experienced a ton of change this past week. It's like spending a week in a blender. <laughs> We're at the yeah. CTI Leadership Program, in case yeah. you're wondering what we're meaning by yes. change and transformation. It's been a, it's been a transformative week for sure. Um, I'm just going to move the mouse off. <laughs> so you guys can definitely expect a ton of juicy stuff that... Yeah, including a guest post from one of our male leadership counterparts. I didn't tell you that yet. He just told me Yay. we have um, a very special post coming from one of our gentlemen colleagues. Awesome. Yes. And huh. so, yeah, we wanted to talk about, well, one of the stories yeah. we talked, there's a lot of stories and sharing that happens in the, the during the course of this week mm -hmm. that gets shared. Mm -hmm. And one of the stories that really tweaked my mind in terms of body image and body love was mm -hmm. a story shared by Karen Kimsey House, one of the leaders of our leadership retreat. And in fact, the founder of the Coach Training Institute with her husband, Henry. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, she was talking about how she had been planting a garden with her niece. They were planting marigolds. Mm -hmm. I thought she said something different before. It no, was, it was marigolds. No, I misheard oh. her, and I thought she was talking about buckets of gold. And I thought, wow, <laughs> you have a gold. different garden than I do. But anyway, <laughs> um, so she was planting this garden with her niece. And you know those little <clears throat> flower... Little cards. Little cards that you put at the front of the row yeah. to tell you what's behind it. it has a picture, And it has a picture of the flower. Of the marigold. Mm -hmm. So her niece was planting the, the plants, and then she was turning the little picture to face the row rather than face out so you could see what was in the row. So Karen, <laughs> Karen said, no, no, no. You have to put the picture facing yeah. out so that we know what was planted there. And her niece responded with, no, Auntie Kay. Don't I have be to put, silly. Don't yes. be silly. Yes. I have to put the picture facing inwards so that when the marigold grows up, it knows what it's supposed to look like. Ah, so how does that tie in to body love? Well, it does in a number of ways. Yeah. yeah, and I think it just means that, well, one of the ways you can look at it is that we're all marigolds mm -hmm. when we grow up, right? That we're in, we're faced with the media, we're faced with peers and advertising and everything else, and we can grow up and look at these images and think that's how I'm supposed to look. Or you can choose not to, but I think a lot of people get stuck in that trap of, I'm supposed to look like the Marigold. Yeah. Or like Elle McPherson, or whatever, yeah. models, yeah, actresses, like, people out there in advertising. Because yeah. the thing that made me, that made me tweak, like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. this is a great story for our website and, and our workshops, is because Karen did this demonstration of... She imagined this marigold growing up and looking at the picture and being like, okay, so this leaf goes there and this petal should look like this and I should look like that. Yeah. As opposed to what if you just a poppy didn't know what you were supposed to look like. Yeah, what like? if a poppy came up? Oh no. Well no. But it would be very upset to look at the marigold well, exactly. and I'm completely different than you. Exactly. Oh, what yeah. if the seed was wrong? And so then this poppy is growing and it's like I'm, I'm wrong and it makes it wrong. Yeah. So that's what the thing is about this, all this advertising, it's almost like it makes you wrong. Ooh, that's good, Nicole. Yeah. I love that you just said that. And then the other the thing that twinged for me right there is that there's an expectation of how you're supposed to grow. Yeah. And there's very little room for creativity there. Oh, yeah. To be like, you know, to grow however you authentically want to grow. Yeah. You're not going to have a leaf three inches down from your petals. You, you might want to do it differently. Yeah. Like, we're going to have arms and legs, but how they look can be created by how we want them to look. Yeah. Mm. So what kind of images are you holding on to? Are you holding on to of what you should look like? Yeah. What kind of ideas? And not even just about body size. Yeah. Anything that you think... Yeah, like what I career do you think this? you should have? Mm -hmm. What... Um, how much money should you have? What kind of car should you drive? I really love this phrase that we use a lot in coaching and in life. It's mm -hmm. quit shooting, shooting all, all over yourself. yourself. <laughs> yeah. And I think it bears repeating. Quit cut. shooting all over yourself. Or cut the shoulds. Cut the shoulds. <laughs> cut the shoulds. 
Cut the shoulds. Yeah. That's all there and is to what, it. And what space is available? Mm. What space is available if, if I'm growing up with no image, no preconceived yeah. idea? Like, what if you didn't know? Wow, yeah. Like, and it's a great question, too. Like, it, it brings to mind somebody's asked me once, what age would you be if you didn't know how old you were? Ooh. And it's the same thing. What would you look like if you didn't know what you were supposed to look like? Yeah. Mm, that's yummy. Yeah, that's a good question to sit, kind of end on. I think so, too. And for you guys like, to kind of sit with. To leave you with that inquiry, you sit with that and unpack it and let us know what you come up with. And you know that we're going to be blogging about it. That's a jumping off point for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we do want to hear from you. <laughs> we really do. Yeah. We really do. Um, so you can find us at this site. And certainly you can <laughs> get us through email. Us. Obviously you found us. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really tired from being in the blender all week. Um, <laughs> but we'll leave it at that. And we'll, yeah. yeah, we'll leave you that inquiry and, and we'll look forward to lots of more yummy conversation with you. So in the change room at Westerbeck Ranch, I'm yes. Tara and Nicole. She's Tara and she's Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. bye. <laughs>